Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to discuss cradle to cradle theory, introducing the following chapters. History of cradle to cradle. In 1990, cradle to cradle was developed by Professor Dr. Michael Brungart and William McDonough as they took cradle to gray framework as an example and improved the framework from less waste to zero waste. It resulted then to cradle to cradle framework. The concept of cradle to cradle. The definition of very high ambition is basic in developing cradle to cradle. It builds fission on where regions and organizations want to be in the future. It sets the beacons and directions where innovation should lead to. It shifts from eco-efficiency towards eco-effectiveness. It's not about doing more with less and reducing waste, which is cradle to grave, but it's about doing right from the scratch. Continuous improvement is thus an implicit requirement of engaging towards cradle to cradle. The two cycles that are involved in cradle to cradle are the biological cycle and the technical cycle. The biological cycle focuses on consumption products. These products are made from renewable resources and when consumed it goes back to earth or the environment, the soil, and it creates eventually a new production of a new resource. It's beneficial for humans or ecosystems along the biological cycle. While on the other hand, the technical cycle focuses on service products. These products are produced from renewable or non-renewable resources. And it goes back to the industry where they come from. In, in that industry, they are making or recovering the same product in the same quality level to a new version. It is beneficial to human ecosystems along the technical cycle. Cradle to cradle key principles. There are three principles that make this framework as a whole. These are the waste equals food, which means everything is nurtured for something else, uh, use of current solar income, the use of energy sources that are renewable in the time frame they are used, and celebrate the diversity promoting and combining biological and cultural and conceptual diversity. In chapter 11 of Kopnina and Bowit book, they go far more in depth regarding this subject. They will explain the frameworks, the key principles, as well as the nutrient cycles, current views. Cradle to cradle foresees the transition from current industrial model that takes, makes and pollutes to a system with healthy and safe products whose materials stay in cycles. This new model will require a shift from ownership to usership for products that are made of technical nutrients. These products are only used by consumers for the time needed and the product will then return into the remanufacturing chain. This demands a completely new kind of cooperation between suppliers, producers, customers, consumers and material managers. An intensive cooperation between these uh, parties is needed to come to cradle-to-cradle -cradle products. Carlsberg as an example. Carlsberg Group was the world's first beverage chains that received the cradle-to-cradle -cradle certification of the canned beverages in the UK. 46% of their electricity usage came from renewable sources like biogas and green electricity. S they also managed to reduce their carbon emissions by 16% and wasting water reduction by 6%. And conclusion. So in this lecture we have discussed cradle to cradle theory, its key principles and its framework. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.